variation. I want you to pause down, pause the video, and I want you to write down exactly what I have written down. I want you to write the words and the table. So pause the video and write down this problem. The number of girls in the jazz band in middle and high school varies directly with the total members. What is the constant of proportionality and what does it mean in this situation? So make sure that you have this table written down as well. All right, so this term varies directly is another way to say is proportional to. So the number of girls is proportional to the number of members. When the total members change, so do the number of girls. So we have to find the constant of proportionality and tell what it means. All right, so the first thing that we want to do, we already have our table, so we don't need to set it up. We need to figure out which is x and which is y. Well, in this situation, what depends on what? The number of girls depends on the total number of members. So our x in this situation will be our total members. And our y is going to be the number of girls. Because again, the number of girls depends on how many members are in the band. So when I ask you for the constant of proportionality, I want you to write k equals y divided by x. And then all we're going to do is substitute in our y values and our x values. So in this situation, 6 will be divided by 15. And we can simplify that by dividing by 3 thirds. So our simplified constant is 2 fifths. Constant um, in this situation means um, is 2 fifths. And let's think about um, if, whether or not that makes sense. Do we take our x values and multiply them by 2 fifths to get our y values? Yes. Remember, you always take your constant and you multiply it to your x's to get your y's. So y equals 2 fifths of our x's. These values are two-fifths of our x values. So um, a constant of two-fifths does make sense. Now let's figure out what, <clears throat> what that actually means. Okay, so I have it written down right here for you. For every five members, so five is, is our total, for every five members, two are girls. That's what our constant means in this situation. Um, Yes, for every 15, 6 are girls. For every 20, 8 are girls. But I want you to explain to me what 2 fifths mean, means. For every 5 members, 2 are girls. Okay, now I want you to write down everything that I have written down too, including the, um, the table. A painter mixes cans of green and white paint to make the shade needed for painting a bedroom. The table shows the proportions he can use for the colors he wants, or for the color he wants. Which is the direct variation equation for this relationship? So we know that there's a direct variation between green cans and white, white cans. We need to know what that equation is. In other words, um, we need to find our constant of proportionality. Now, in this situation, we don't have an x and a y. In our, in our examples, or in our um, potential answers, we have g and w for green and white. So we need to figure out, using our answer choices, how do you get either from green to white or from white to green? OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at 6 and 9. And I'm going to say, well, if that's a if that was a fraction, I know that I could simplify that to two-thirds. So I'm going to look. I have two-thirds, I have two-thirds, I have three-halves, and I have three-fifths. I'm going to eliminate D because I know that three-fifths is not going to be part of my answer. So now I have to look. Okay, let's start with A. G equals...
equals two-thirds of W. Do the green cans, to get the green cans, are those two-thirds of the white cans? Is this, are green cans smaller than the number of white cans? Yeah. I think that this potentially could be an answer, but I'm going to come back to it. Are my white cans two-thirds of my green cans? Are my white cans two-thirds of my green cans? That can't be it, because I know that my white cans are bigger than my green cans. So I can't say that uh, the white is two-thirds of the green. I know that that's not going to be it. And then the last one, are the green cans three halves of the white cans? That means one and a half times the white. Are these, is six one and a half times my white? Is six one and a half times nine? No, it's smaller. The only one that could possibly work is letter choice A. The green cans, six, is two-thirds of nine. If I take nine and I divide it by three, I get three. And then if I multiply it by two, I do get six. Pause and rewind as much as you need to. Rewatch the video a couple of times. I showed you an open question and then a multiple choice question and how to reason through those and make your let your answers make sense.